connection to a source of ideas that shape the world we live in, it's one thing. So classics and, and reading Greek and Roman texts or watching a movie, as, I, as I've said, that, that uh, incorporates elements of Greek or Roman history or beliefs or values, uh, it, it is embedded for Americans in a very particular thing, which is the founding of the United States. And so the, uh, this isn't coming out as clearly as I would like, because <laughs> I think, dare I think too passionately about this. Education and, and popular culture these days gives people a lot of skills and a lot of capacities and a lot of ways to be interested in the world. And through the internet, through, you know, we have connections to the rest of the globe, literally, that people didn't have before. And that's hugely exciting. At the same time, it's meant that our attention as people gets spread very thin and we tend to look in the present and we look forward. And it's so easy to forget that any of the things that affect our daily lives from the fact that we can vote to the fact that we have an idea about rights to the fact that you know, we wear clothes that look a certain way, um, that we think about men and women and gender in a certain way, um, that we use phrases like law and order. I mean, really, all kinds of habits that we have as people um, have a history. And uh, the role of, of Greek and Roman ideas in shaping those, all these things is useful for anybody, I think, precisely because it is so far away. It's not about um, thinking about what happened in the 1960s or the 1860s or the 1770s. I mean, all of those are important moments to think about for everybody but, and to know something about, but, um, but to understand how, just how deep the roots go in a lot of the ways we think. And then to get some little sense of how, at least a glimpse of how radically we've changed too as people um, is that that for me is something I would hope anyone even without any kind of any connection to the classical world would be somewhat curious about you know what are we doing here and why are we the kinds of people who would even ask what are we doing here <laughs> you know and those questions about um, about who you know what a human being is and what we're doing in the world they're not of course specific to Greek and Roman they're not unique to Greek and Roman thinkers um, but the ways in which we receive those questions do have a specific history.